Oh, meaty 5M. What the hell no? What's going on, guys? Akko here coming at you with another match review, and this time we've got a modern day classic. The tale as old as time Nitro versus Pred. These two have faced off offline more times than you can count. And I thought it would be fun to take a look at their most recent match. This comes from ECT, courtesy of Team Spooky. Shout out to Spooky, make sure you check out his channel. But let's get right into this match right away. So the thing to pay attention to here is that these two are neutral masters. So you're going to see some very clean and very calculated neutral. So if neutral is something you are working on right now, pay close attention to these decisions. But I definitely got to go back and look at that right there. We already got what makes Lab Coat so scary. An unreactable command grab that nerfs you. Yikes. So, Team Gohan, a powerhouse character, is nerfed right at the beginning. Oof. The tracking. Once again. I always got to point out Goku Blue tracking. Jeez. Man, at, at a level this high, there's just going to be so many things to point out. And just, once again, I always got to talk about how this is just the best move that's ever been in this game ever. And you see it's just immediately taking control of the neutral here is Nitro by just simply doing the tornado and calling an assist. Like, if you just do that at any moment, you'll either get a combo or turn the situation into your situation. It's crazy. We're going directly to the corner. What's the Oki? Ooh. So that right there, that was a nice little DP bait right there. Because you saw the dash off and select. And he, he did a dash off and select and called his assist. Nothing came out. So he's going to go ahead and take his advantage here this time. Because he sees that Pred is not trying to steal turns. He's not swinging. Not trying to DP, but wow. I mean, I don't think I even got to explain this one. Omnidirectional attacks, by the way. And it, it cleanly deposits everyone where you want them to be, even assists. Man, that move, bro. That move, I just don't even know what to say. <laughs> Once again, spin into assist. You're going to see it a lot. Had to do it. Spin into assist. We are blocking. Oh my god. Tetris. Oh my god. We're blocking and blocking and blocking. Jesus! Wow. Wow. So all that blocking. And that block string was so long because he was in Spark. I, I, I talked about that in my tips about Sparking video. When you're in Spark, your assist will come back regardless of if you have the opponent locked down or not. But man, let's just look at this. So he gets the positioning. Does EX spin, but it gets barriered and then returned with Nitro's own spin. So it's just like, spin versus spin, someone's gonna win. We got some reset action going on. Stomp on him. Jeez, dash into stomp. And that's cool right there, the Goku Blue. DHC makes sure they're in place for your super. Really good thing about Goku Blue there. Woo! That was sneaky. Anti-air grab over the head. Call the assist and then and then come back around. Nice. Good blocks by Fred. And at this point, Nitro doesn't need to do anything, and he's not doing anything. He's just playing neutral with his assist. There's no reason to take any risks. Even right there, you saw he 
he momentum jumped in and called his assist without hitting a button because there's no need to take any risks here. He's got assists and Pred doesn't. Oh, that was so, ugh, that was so dirty. The empty low. <laughs> but the thing I will say is, 21 is an amazing anchor character. I'm, I'm, I'm also glad that we're watching this because I feel like 21 has started to become uh, underrated, as crazy as that sounds. Most people I hear talk about the character or when the character's brought up, people tend to say that she's not that good anymore because she doesn't have the level three. And personally, I think that that's absolutely absurd. I think that this character is still just completely insane. Neutral block strings, meter gain, damage potential. Everything is just great. I mean, look at that right there. That sequence was crazy. She's a surprisingly good anchor, and above all else, the move steal. Move steal is one of the best kits in the game. The ability to suddenly have a move that you didn't have before really like puts your opponent on notice. Ooh, that was dirty. I mean, there was almost nothing you could do about that. You would have had to have already been jumping or mashing, basically. No level 5. Ooh, but we woke up with the 4LL. I respect it. And then the dive kick is going to take the first match for Nitro. Man. Intense, man. Yeah, as you can see, the level of play here is just maxed out. The, the bar is broken. <laughs> the bar to max... The scouter is shattered. And so now we are playing some very slow neutral, and I respect it. Ooh. So party's getting started. Ooh. We are we are playing some slow neutral. Whoa. Whoa. Oh man. That's just you just got to kind of take that. There's not that much you can do about it because if you try to wiggle out of the throw, it opens you up for the lows. And if you focus too much on the lows, you get thrown. So, wow. It's kind of a pick your poison. That wasn't a bad idea. It's just it didn't reach. It just did not reach. Here comes a cool blue guy. And we are back to the neutral game. Whoa. Fred at the advantage as he has two assists now. Oh my god, the floats. Very hard to block. Ooh, so that was a frame kill right there. So... Nitro opted the frame kill by doing the jump jab and then air dash low to the ground. He dashed a little bit too low. That's why his jab missed here. But that was still a really good uh, option to choose there. Ooh, we're taking the level three. We're taking it. Oh my goodness, yeah, I agree. Ooh. Wow, suddenly we are playing very fast. I mean, both characters are in spark. It's time to make something happen. Oh, Goku Blue. Goku Blue, the character designed for combos to drop. That's how they designed them. Ooh, the online special. I love it. Level three. So once again, the move steals going to get fully stocked here. 
That's the importance of that level three now. It fully stocks you. And a fully stocked 21 is scary. Wow, those staggers were deadly. We're definitely going to the corner. Are we going to level three here? Ooh, now it's time for Pred to get stopped. Ooh, and I see two barriers there too. Nasty. Oh, once again, I just I I don't want to keep repeating myself, but move steals, bro. And can we just appreciate like how big brain Nitro is to like have these individual setups for different move steals like that is a same side setup that only works with solar flare it's beautiful and it's like again as the defender you have to really be paying attention to be like damn she stole solar flare so left right is on the table now you see what i mean like this character is just absurd i can't believe like people are losing faith in her just because she doesn't have a broken level three, you know, mix up. Like, this character is insane. Bringing him down. Ooh, that's a nice meaty. Oh my God. That was a beautiful use of the shoulder. That was so smart. This man Nitro is so smart, bro. So he, that had multiple reasons to it. Yeah, he did it, of course, to get the hit, but he believed that Pred was going to do the Key Blast again, and this would have ate through it. And he covered it with an assist, so it's beautiful. Man, Nitro is, man, it's too good. Ooh, he did not believe. Nitro said, I don't believe you. I don't believe you're going to cover this key blast. I'm I'm gonna super dash through it. Something you gotta do from time to time. You gotta call your opponent's bluff. If you assume that everything's gonna be perfect, you'll miss opportunities. Whoa. That was a chase. Damn, this is very different from the last match. Nitro is he does not seem very worried about this uh Gohan. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Man. Level 5 is one of the best privileges any character can have. The level 5 privilege is insane. And we're right back into it. No break this time. Nitro's up 2-0. If he wins this, he goes through. Ooh. Oh my god. Just imagine that your character has multiple overheads. Think about that for a moment. Wow! The command overhead crushed her low. Jesus. That was very awkward though. Who meaty 5M? What hell no? Oh my god. You did not just do that. God. Look at the positioning. He's fishing for it the whole time. Wow. God. No way, bro. This man, Nitro, is just... This man even human? Ooh, uppercuts. Pred said, I don't care about none of this. I will not be shaken. Let's go. See, this, this shows, like, your offline experience if you are able to keep fighting at your best under these kind of circumstances. When your opponent has, like, really high momentum but you're able to stick to your game plan that just shows like how accustomed you are to you know the tournament scene i i agree with all the decisions being made here 
get that lab coat out of there. She's basically dead, so now she's just an assist character. This goes into another thing I, I tell people all the time. Do not sacrifice your characters. Keep them alive as long as you possibly can. And oh my god, that is so fast. Ooh, wow. A rare, rare moment of Gohan's auto combo working against you. Man, this hardly ever happens. And of all times for it to happen, it's in tournament. And we got a full health Majin 21, but she's got some backup behind her. So this isn't too bad on either side, honestly. This could still go either way. Yep, and already we got the crisscross. Ooh, re-jump is dropped though. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Kill that momentum he was building up. No need to be in that situation. What? No way in hell. Good lord, Goku Blue. So, Dash canceled the 2H into a dive kick. And that is a moment where your own reactions betray you. Like, Pred was able to react to the Dash, but that betrayed him because he canceled it into a same side move. And it's like... Jesus Christ, if Pred's reactions were bad, he wouldn't have gotten hit. Situations like that aren't fair. You're punished for reacting. Wow, once again, I gotta hype up the move steals. I gotta hype up the move steals again. Suddenly I have a barrier, do not touch me. Wow, beautiful, beautiful answer back. Damn, it's crazy because I don't feel like Pred is playing poorly at all. He's playing amazingly well, actually. But it's just like, man, the situation keeps tilting in Nitro's favor. Ooh, except for that. We are, we are not doing any damage here. No damage. Plonk attempt. Oh, and that is gonna do it. Damn. Damn. Man, that is crazy. That is really crazy that like, like that, even though it's 3-0, I still feel like that's a really good set because, man, they were making such good decisions on both sides. Like, I can't even point to anything and be like, Pred should have did this. Pred should have did that. It was just like, it was just Nitro just got more situations to go in his favor than Pred did. You know, it's like. It, it just happens like that sometimes, but that 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 was really really good games Like one thing I'm very happy about with this game is that even though yes, the meta is super toxic right now I'm glad that the level of play is so high that we can still just enjoy the game for what it is because yeah We hate lab coat, you know and the fusions and stuff But at least like the level of play itself is still super entertaining and like super fun to watch especially you know, with decision making at a level like this. But that's gonna bring us to the end of this review. Really, really good games. These two are like, you know, real life anime rivals. Like this, this won't be the last time that they meet offline. Uh, it'll, it'll happen again soon. And, and we can look forward to reviewing that when it happens. But either way, thanks guys so much for listening. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I will catch you fellas next time. Ace.